Hey everyone, it's Sean and in today's quick video I want to talk about improving your Surface Pro 4's uh, sleep battery drain. Some of you may have experienced that your Surface uh, tends to lose a lot of battery while it's sleeping. There is a new workaround, credit goes to Kevin MyXP and basically you have to enable Hyper-V on your Surface device. So in order to do this, uh, go into Cortana, type in Programs and Features, and then click Programs and Features. You will see uh, this uh, screen pop up. What you want to do is go over to the sidebar on the left-hand side where it says Turn Windows Features On or Off. Go ahead and click that. And then you will see one of the options is Hyper-V. Now you can see in my machine, I've already enabled it. Uh, but what you want to do is to check that checkbox and click OK. When you do that, it'll ask you to restart your Surface. Go ahead and restart it. It'll take a little bit for that to enable. And after that's enabled, you will notice that this, your sleep battery drain will be greatly improved. So you can see I ran here a sleep study. Uh, before, the culprit of why your Surface is draining while in sleep mode is uh, your Intel HD graphics, at least on the Surface Pro 4, it tends to run a lot while the Surface is in sleep mode or connected standby. But after you enable the Hyper-V feature, suddenly your Intel HD graphics doesn't run all the time while sleeping. All right, now if you want to completely eliminate your sleep battery drain, what you want to do is actually hibernate your Surface. Now by default, your Surface is set to automatically go into hibernate after four hours, but I would actually recommend if you want to get the greatest sleep battery life to uh, have it go into hibernate uh, just after a short period of time, maybe after about half an hour. You can see on my machine, I actually have hibernate as one of the options in the power menu. Okay, so this will instantly put your Surface into Hibernate if you know that you're not going to be using it for a while. Now to get the Hibernate in your option, what you want to do is in Cortana, you want to type in uh, Power. And you'll see one of, the, one of the options is called Power Options. So go ahead and click on Power Options. Go to Choose What the Power Buttons Do on the left hand side. And then you will see down over here, there's some several grayed out options. So in order to make them not grayed out, you can uh, press this at the top here that says change settings that are currently unavailable. So go ahead and press that. And then now you see they're not grayed out anymore. So what you'll want to do is you'll want to just check the hibernate button. And all of a sudden, when you save your changes down over here, click save changes, uh, you will have hibernate be one of your options in your power menu. Okay, so now let's go back to the power options screen that you were just at. Uh, you can also change your surface to automatically go into hibernate mode after a certain period of time. So uh, select this button that says change plan settings. Again, this is in your power options that you went into. Go to change plan settings and you'll see this screen over here. Go to change advanced power settings right down here. Now, under change advanced power settings, you'll see uh, uh, lots and lots of good options. Go to the sleep option and then it'll say hibernate after and then you can choose uh, where you when you want it to hibernate. I have it set on never because I use my surface uh, fairly regularly and I don't like it going into hibernate. I'd rather it sleep. But uh, if you don't use your surface constantly throughout the day or you really value that extra battery boost, I would go ahead and set this at maybe 20 or 30 minutes. So on battery after 20 minutes. Um, now the reason why I wouldn't recommend doing it instantly is because when you hibernate your device, it actually takes a while for it to start back up. Okay, now let's go ahead and put my Surface into Hibernate. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and Hibernate the Surface. But then when you turn it back on, it's as if it's booting up again. But it's actually not booting up, it's just waking up from Hibernate. So you can see the little thinking pad. Okay, there you go, so you can see. Now, if for some reason your Surface Pro 4 tends to stay on that initial boot up surface screen for a long long time mine actually did that at first there is actually a fix to make it go a lot quicker 
when you first boot up your device or come out of Hibernate. Uh, so do stay tuned, I will make another video on that. If you are having that problem with extremely long boot up times, let me know in the comments and maybe before I post that video I can show you uh, what to do for the fix. Now one last thing that will help with your sleep battery life, go into Cortana, type in sleep and you'll, say, you'll see the option called power and sleep settings. So click on power and sleep settings and then you will see this option down over here, Wi-Fi. On battery power, stay connected to Wi-Fi while asleep. Uncheck that and that will really help with battery life. Now this will only matter if you are not on Hibernate, if you're in the connected standby. Now why do you need Wi-Fi while you're asleep? Well, you could be downloading emails, you could be receiving uh, Skype calls, uh, you could be hearing uh, notifications and chimes. So in general, I don't really care about that stuff, so I have Wi-Fi off. Uh, because I've got my phone for all sorts of notifications while it's sleeping. This is definitely another key option to help your battery life while it's asleep. Okay, and there you go. Just a really quick video of how to improve your uh, battery life while your Surface is asleep. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like it, be sure to share it, and thank you very much for watching.